hello guys uh, welcome to another video of tech buddy and in this video we will learn how to create a group site or else uh, team site and what are the benefits of creating a team site and what else gets created when you create a team site so to begin with let's navigate to the SharePoint admin center I hope everyone knows how to access SharePoint admin center so I am into the SharePoint admin center I will click on this create option so when I click on this create option I am getting three options here first one is team site the second one is communication site and the third one is other options so right now we will be mainly looking into this team site what is, what is a team site okay what is the basic use of it and what's get created when you create a team site and later on we'll look into the communication site what is the use of it and we also check out this other option so to begin with let's look into this team site option so team site is basically a group site and this group site gets uh, used by the organization who wants to uh, create an office 365 group to send bulk emails in the group and they also want their users to be able to chat so in those scenarios we use team sites okay so I will use this team site I give some name to it let's give some uh, name like test org okay so this is the name I have given and I want to be the primary owner of this there can be only one owner for that uh, for group for that group so for this group I want to be the sole owner okay my name is Rahul Bakel. I've entered my name here okay I want this site to be in English language itself now uh, the basic information has been filled up now let's look into this advanced settings what more this site has to offer so this privacy setting public and private so I'll give you a small uh, differentiation between a public and a private so private group uh, site is a site wherein only the added member can be able to access the site otherwise no one would be able to access the site until and unless group owner invite the other user and when it comes to public so public site is basically if anyone in the organization knows the name of the group site he or she can directly search the group site in public and can join the group site directly and then can access the group site automatically the uh, access will be given automatically okay, so this is the basic difference between the public in private the group owner need to invite you only then you can access it uh, but in public you can access it directly if you are aware about the name so I'll show you the uh, basic behavior in the later videos that what is the basic uh, behavior uh, when you create a public or pri private uh, site okay now let's come to the second thing which is time zone I want this to be PST I don't want to change the time zone and site description if you want uh, to put in a site description you can uh, do that very well but I do not want to give any site description as of now so let's leave it blank I'll hit next okay so since we are creating a private group here you can see that we are creating a private group here so if I want I can add members otherwise I can leave it so let's put it a member here let's I uh, have a test user this Rahul test okay I have put in that user here and I click on finish so the moment I click on finish I can see the activity in this recent uh, actions here okay and it says the site has been created now let's access the site okay test I put in test so test org is created if I click on this blank area so this will open up the site information otherwise if I click on this URL section it will open up the site so like I mentioned I click on the URL it the site has opened up okay so the other things so when you create a private group or when you create a team uh, group team site so there are two things which gets created the very first thing is office 365 group how to check an office 365 group you need to navigate to office 365 admin center this is my admin center okay and 
I'll go to this teams and group section. I'll open this active team and group. I'll put in the name of the group which I want to search. Okay. So the name of the group was test org. So let's search with org. If, uh, we can search anything here. Okay. Uh, it's not coming up with the org. So let's type in the first name of it. The first name was test. Okay. Let's hit test. Right. So now you can see the test org show group is showing up here. I'll open this. Okay. Now, like I mentioned that you get a teams option as well wherein the users can chat right now there is no group associated with this we need to create one right and you can also see when you open this you also getting the same option okay the and and uh, one more thing if you want to check if the site if the ms team site is already created or not what you can do is you can come up here okay and i cannot see any test org here i'll refresh this and uh, we'll see if that test org comes up here or not okay uh, still not okay it is not there because we have not provisioned it so now let's provision this let's click on add team so it will basically add a team's channel or a site in this area okay so we will see once it is published right so now you can see you, you have added uh, teams to this group to manage and teams group to go to microsoft teams admin center or else if i just want to see where is the team site what i can do is uh, what i can do is i'll just go to the teams section here i'll refresh this once okay oh all right so probably it is showing up there uh, let's refresh this let's get it refresh okay now you can see the test org showing up at the bottom and we also have a channel test general okay you, if you like you can start a conversation like hi and i'll just put in a simple uh, conversation hi or else you can uh, type in any member name here i want this person to get notified Raul test I want this person to be getting notified I'll simply click on hi okay by typing his name all right so this is what happens when you create uh, a group site so you get an you get an MS team site here also you been added to an office 365 group as well if you open your outlook you can see there is one group showing up here which is this test org it was not there previously it is be it is just added now because i have added myself into this group okay you can see that the group is there also you you can see the group is showing up here i've already added i've already added a, a teams uh, site for this so you can see that there is one more option is showing up now open in teams Alright, so this is it for this session and uh, in the next video we will see how the how uh, ev uh, an organization uses this uh, groups to send a mass communication or to send uh, uh, to send an email to a particular set of users okay so let's meet up in the next video till then happy learning bye enjoy